Because I do have a smart mouth. I am a little sassy, but I have the right to be. You look at the, the material. Uh -huh. I just don't like a man that likes to go back and forth. Like a little bit, you know, you're a man. You know, I'm supposed to shut the up a little bit. But it's like, why are we going back and forth, back and forth? I just want to win the argument. Oh, you want to let you him just win the argue, argument? argue just to argue. I just want to argue, go back and forth. That's sassy. So it's sassy because of the fact that the matter is that you're wrong. And I'm trying to show you that you're wrong. It doesn't it, matter it, if uh, I Excuse me, I was still talking. Thank you. That's sassy. See how that shit works? You got the right now. Excuse me, ma'am. It's still not your turn to talk. I am still on the mic. Like I said, nothing wrong. Women, y'all supposed to want to fuck the man that can teach you something, correct? Don't you want to fuck somebody that can show you something? Don't you want to fuck somebody that can lead you? So why the hell when I try to lead your ass in the right direction of this motherfucking topic that we talking about, you get mad because I ain't let you win the goddamn discussion? Y'all motherfuckers is backwards as goddamn crisscross clothes in the 90s. That don't make no motherfucking sense. You want to fuck with a, a boss ass nigga? As soon as you get the boss ass nigga, you want to treat him like the worker. You were fucking with me because I can lead you. You were fucking with me because I can teach you something. You were fucking with me for all those reasons. And then when you get me, your ass want to win the goddamn argument. No! Back to the apartments with that dumb shit. My guy emptied the clip on him. It's fun to block. But yeah, man. Usually a man who's still talking is just trying to be understood. Not arguing just to argue. And a lot of these women say that they hate when men go back and forth. Then turn around and say that they want men who know how to communicate. A lot of the times if a man's going back and forth with you, it's probably something lost in translation. So he's just trying to get his point across. We know what this is though. We know what this is. A guy is sassy just because he won't let her do what she wants to do. Does this conversation involve this? No. Do you have a check for me? No. Do you have opportunity for me? No. Can I profit off this conversation any kind of way? No. Then I don't want to talk. Keep it pushing. I, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> you dig? Stop playing with them. Men don't have a say in women's sex life. What a fascinating perspective that is. I think the sexual empowerment of women in any way contributes to their own objectification. I can't wait to see if any of their opinions are actually based in reality. No. Guess not. Does the fact that porn and OnlyFans exist to prove that women are okay being objectified as long as they're getting paid? And who wants to guess what their next answer is? No! It means that we can use our body the way that we want to without men's control. Do you consider sex work to be real work? I'm sure their next answer will come as no surprise. Yes. Yes. And if you don't, you suck. Why are women more accepting of women who can sell sex, but are less likely to accept a man who can buy it? Ooh. This ought to be good. Because it's empowering to be able to do what you want with your body when you want to be able to do it. But isn't that like shaming your own customers? Hmm. No. Well, how can you be a victim of your own product? Because it's my fucking body. The Cheshire Cat-like smile really sells it, doesn't it? Men don't have a say in women's sex life. What if- <laughs> Nah. They really be out here clueless, dog. For real. Someone said in the comments that this is like two brain cells fighting for third place. And I can't argue against it. You no know, guys love to be the new bitches and they don't want to chase, but you have to chase. Don't mind chase you? Uh, I don't really answer DMs. I don't give them the chance. You want me to believe that shit? Okay, but you want them to chase you, but you're not going to answer them. Yeah, keep going. One day I will. When you're deserving. What? It's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. Audacity, entitlement, and delusions of grandeur. That is what the internet has done. Do you see her, bro? Do you see her, bro? To have the audacity to talk like that, do you see her? <laughs> Yo, it's getting spooky out here, man. <laughs> you guys to be kidding me, man. The delusion is reaching heights I never thought it would get to, man. For real. Let me know in the comments, bro. Who do y'all think is to blame for this? Hey, yo, check your cash app. Oh my god, that's for me. I sent something for your hair, your makeup, lashes, nails, whatever. I love Mr. Cash App. What's your first name and your last name? Brianna Robinson. I'll fight for Jamaica's book for tomorrow night. Pack your bags. This is a real man. What about my friends? They here too? Check out Cash Apps. I got it. Oh my god, I love that Don't sound. Wait, but I have four kids. Like, who's going to take care of them? Check your Cash App. That's for the best nanny in the city. The kid's Gucci. Oh, he's a step now, up for oh, the real. Does he have up. a brother? You have a cousin? That cash app sound makes my coochie growl up. That's what I do. For me, 
I like my woman to step into her feminine energy. You feel me? Yeah. Yes. That's a right, man. Right, yes. right. Big cash app. You are. I'm out of posting my I Instagram bet. notes and gold. I found tonight. a check, man. Check your cash app again. A nigga don't pay about me. If you want to. Oh, you look good. Yo, yo, yo. Check your cash app. <laughs> Said the sound made a coochie grow. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. That shit had me dying, bruh. It's ugly out here. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean. Now what's up? Now what's up? Where's what's your homeboy at? What's up? That's fine. That's fine, because I'm gonna Square call up. him. I'm gonna call him. They've been waiting on you to fuck up. Man. Your homeboys ain't your friends. I mean. Your homeboys ain't your friends. And I know the other one got more money than you. Um, you know what? I'm gonna call him. That's fine, cause I'm a call. Crazy. You got cause. I'm going to sit on that tonight. You got cause. Wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yay. Hey. Oh. Wow. So what? This must be. Wow. This must be some type of remember like you had show, to, like what? Remember you had to catch the bus to get here. Ooh. And you got, you got, you got nothing that's about this? Yeah. Hey, they ain't got shit on me, man. And guess what else? And guess what else? And guess what else? What? You're going to have to find somewhere to stay too, boo. Okay, you're about to get kicked out the crisp. Stay down the curb. I'm not on the lease. Oh, that's, if that's what you want to with, that's fine. Make sure you got a pallet. Make sure you, you got a pallet. You just stay with me. Bruh. Just stay with you. Just stay with me. That's crazy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean. Man, listen. I mean, it sounds like he dodged a, a real live bullet right there, man. Look, I'm definitely not a fan of cheating on either side. Look like he definitely got caught up. But she sound like the enemy right now. Like that snake that was just in the tall grass waiting to be revealed when cut. You know what I'm saying? Already doing her dirt. Now she's trying to justify acting the fool. And as soon as she started running her mouth, you know she was burnt out. You know she was burnt out. Sounds like his friends been trying to mack. You know what I'm saying? His friends been trying to get at her. Why she didn't say nothing about that before? You know what I mean? That sounds suspect off top. I don't know what she's trying to prove, but that tit for tat shit go, you know, that really is only for toxic. It's only for toxic back and forth relationships. And it seems like those type of people attract each other, but you know, but she's definitely been up to no good. And did the chick in the black say that he could stay with her? She don't look surprised at all what's going down, right? And it could be that this was already in the work he been complaining to her, you know, doing the pillow talking. But man, really, on the flip side, this right here is a type of faulty decision making when it comes to choosing men that we're talking about. Does she really think she will be different? Fellas, stop being naive, bro. If her friends are confirming that something is going on, there's something going on. I remember I was talking to this girl, bro. And mind you, I was friends with her friend on um, social media or whatever. So like, if she ever posted something, I would see it if it was pertaining to like, whatever, you know what I'm saying, be the case. And I remember particularly, you know what I'm saying, while we was talking or whatever, her friend put up this post and it was like a post about how, oh, your homegirl sleep at night, how my homegirl inserts her name or whatever, sleep at night, knowing that she's talking to one, she got a whole nother boyfriend. Now, when I seen this, I said, huh that's very interesting and odd but me being me i'm being naive i'm like nah there's no way she would be doing me like that there's just no way boy was i wrong i even asked the friend i said hey why'd you uh post this and tag her in it she she just laughed she laughed and then i think she said like no reason blah 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 bruh and i was like i just took it at face value and i was like all right yeah cool like we're over that and uh come to find out i was fucking wrong <laughs> I should have listened to the friends because I didn't and it was another one who said something too and then like after it's like it's always afterwards that's when they get to really telling you like when it's over and like bro I, I thought you knew I thought you knew no mother I didn't know why didn't you tell me <laughs> I would have known then but yeah fella stop being naive if Jesus can't save these hoes why are you trying it's definitely stop being naive but most of all man gotta stop being thirsty bro and ignoring all the red flags just because she got a booty she a cutie with a booty i mean you probably peep she wasn't going to work way back in the beginning right but you still had to smash before you slid and it might have been that last one 
when you got stuck. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. Let's keep it real, man. You got stuck with an undesirable. And for some guys, man, that's 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 a rough undertaking. You know what I mean, it's tough to get over, especially when you're trying to come up. But yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me know what y'all think, man. It's that time. It's that time. Hit me in them comments. And by the way, please subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. If you like this video, go ahead and watch another one. That'll really help out the channel. We got much more in store. This is EK, Real Spicy, signing out. And I'm going to check y'all in the next video. And like that, be easy. Gone.